Hi Taurus and welcome to the birthday gift. So this is going to be the life path message for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. These messages will tell you what energies to embody to help get you in line with your life path, okay? All right, so I started doing life path number readings. Those, The uh, link to get to those are in the description box. They're coming up to be more career-based, so if you're interested, the link is down below. Also, if you don't know your life path number, I also included a calculator, a link to a calculator. That way you can figure out what your life path number is, okay? All right, so let's see. Now I've been, um, I did a few signs already. And a lot of these energies are coming up with a uh, relationship. Uh, some didn't, but these messages are usually career based. But let's see what happens for you all. OK. All right, Taurus, at the base of your readings, we have the Knight of Cups. All right. Spirituality. A lot of you are starting to feel more in line with yourself. Uh, you're in tune with yourself. You're kind of uh, paying attention to how you feel here. Some of you might have someone in your environment that's a water sign but i'm going to keep going here page of cups yep we do have someone someone who wants to offer friendship someone who wants to make amends they may be trying to apologize for something but taurus you got someone in your aura uh or someone around you who, who actually is affecting you uh emotionally who's who kind of wants to make amends okay so let's see what else we got the chariot we have cancer here so far we got all water so this is like you receiving guidance a lot of you are feeling now like you uh, know where you want to go know what path you want to take here you you're kind of starting to realize here that your uh, success is if you keep moving forward and it's true you're being guided divinely guided here four of cups yeah because you just you got to a state where you just didn't know uh well you you just were not interested anymore you started getting bored with life here just being indifferent you got all cups cards here taurus all right let's see what your outcome is the world angel of success you just completed a cycle Taurus, well, congratulations. You just completed something where you sh you should have learned a lesson. That's that's when this starts coming in, boredom. When the cycle is complete and you try to still hold on to something, you're going to start feeling bored. Like there's no longer any excitement because you're done here. You're done here. If you're dealing with a water sign, you're done there. You're... Uh, you're trying to be, they're trying to guide you forward. Your lesson was already learned and you learned it. You got the angel of success here with the world. Now we have the angel of guidance trying to guide you. It's time to move forward, Taurus. It's time to move forward. A lot of you have this person still in your aura. They're trying to come in, offer their apologies. They want to stay friends with you and that's okay. That's at the heart of your reading. So this is letting me know that you just, if you do have any feelings of resentment, you got to let it go because that shows you didn't get the lesson. You didn't get the lesson. But this person is at the basis of your reading. So that means something in itself. Focus on yourself and growing spiritually. That's going to be helpful here. Don't stay in anything too long because it's so it's just showing universe that you're okay with wasting time they're trying to guide you here i put these cards in the wrong position <laughs> they're trying to guide you here forward forward if this person is meant to come back they'll come back but right now, you need to be focusing on something. A lot of you have uh, something on the back burner that you've been wanting to do or wanting to implement. It's time to pick it up. That's why you're sitting there bored. It's time to pick it up and start working on it. That'll help you get this person out of your aura as well. You'll be successful here. 
So y'all are on some new, you're on some new stuff here. Things should feel brand new or things should feel complete. Right now you need to be focused on going forward here. A lot of you are in your emotions. You got all these cups cards here. All right, so let's see what the, oh, that one wants to fall out. Is there anything else? Like the angel, okay. I thought that was coming up. The numerology, okay, Parrington. Some of you guys, uh, that's why you still have this person in your aura. And that's why you got friendship at the heart of your reading. Some of you have to remain in contact with this person because you, you're parenting. You, you share children with this person here. These are the num numerology guidance cards. Okay, and then uh, let's see what's the other card. Personal growth. This was all about your personal growth, guys. The number seven. This is about you growing. And that's that's what the lesson was. And a lot of you got the lesson. You successfully completed this. So it's on to the next thing here. It's on to the next thing. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself being bored and indifferent about life. You don't want to get there. Because the, then you stop caring. But yeah, this was about your personal growth. So you passed the test here. On to the next thing, okay? And that's basically it, Taurus. That's basically it. So that's what I have for you. I mean, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to start doing these, uh, you know, at least once a month. But that's what I have. So this, the lesson here was for you to grow on a personal level. And I feel like you have. So if you're interested in the Life Path Number messages, just check my description box. If you're on Patreon, uh, you've already have the access to these readings. They're included with your support for me on Patreon. So thank you for that. And uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, I'm getting ready to do the life path number readings. And I quickly just want to talk about what's the difference between the life path number and the life path uh, messages. Uh, first of all, the life path messages are based off the zodiac signs versus uh, the actual life path number. So the life path number will be a little more specific in getting you on your life's purpose. The life path messages that I, pay, that I post on YouTube are basically just telling you what energies to embody to get you on your life path. The life path number readings will help you, especially those of you who don't know yet what your life purpose is, it'll help you to kind of figure out what your life purpose is and at the same time how to apply the energies that I speak of on the life path messages, okay? So they'll be very, very helpful. Um, this is really a trial just to see how much of you all are interested and to see if it's helpful at the same time. Um, it was helpful for me, you know, getting on my life purpose. Once you find out your life path number, you kind of learn more about yourself. So if you don't know your life path number, I put the link down in the description box. That way you can calculate it. And uh, yeah, I think this will kind of get most. I get that question a lot. You know, how do I know what my life path is or what my life purpose is? How do I figure it out? So I'm trying to help you guys kind of, you know, figure that out. See uh, if you're in line with your life purpose. Okay, so I hope it's helpful if you are interested. The link is in the description box, and uh, I'll see you there. Alrighty.